Blast, ja. Hello everyone and welcome to our visit to Brasserie Caracol and the tasting of their beers. Now before we go into that, please hit that subscribe button, help us out, it really does do a lot. Thank you. Now the Brasserie itself, as you can see on the inside, uh, is gorgeous and is a prime example of what we would call a dark bar. Now you can sit on the inside, but you can also obviously sit on the outside on the terrace, which you can see in a bit. Now we started our visit with a quick tour um, that is given by the staff in which they go over the history and the brewing process and say some of the important factors in both the old and new brewery. So enjoy this, it's not the entire thing, but this is a bit of a taste. I think that's the preparation for the Okay. Then first we have the three bacon here, super school bacon. With water, with the product and the water. Then we have the water here for warmen. En als de water verbrandt, zijn er twee vrouwers die malt in kleine stukjes breken. Ja. Met een maaltbreker. Hier zullen jullie de oude versie uh, laten zien. Ja. En de nieuwe versie staat in de garage. En jullie mm. zullen gewoon begrijpen waarom dat de oude versie is. Mm. <laughs> ja. Um, ja, dus dat is het water. En um, met de graan. Ja. Dus er zijn eigenlijk zeven handen. Now, as I said yeah. earlier, you get both a view on the modern and the older yeah. brewery. And I have to say, the tour that was given was uh, very well done, uh, very knowledgeable, very friendly, very well timed. So, yeah, definitely a big plus uh, for a visit to the brewery. Now, for the actual tasting, so here is an overview of all of the beers that we tried. We'll go through them each one by one. Now, during the tasting uh, at the Brasserie, the staff will give you a quick explanation on each of the beers, giving you some insight into the expected flavors and um, what the inspiration for it was. The price is very reasonable, so definitely if you're there, try it out. And we hope you enjoy. Yeah, we'll put the of your... Ah, yeah, we'll have a text in Facebook. Yeah, you can use my... Hij is inderdaad licht zuurig. Ze zijn echt iets te doen, maar Ja, het is wel op een um, begin in je mond. Samen met het schuim dat het zuur eruit komt. Voor de rest um, is het een vrij fijn, zacht biertje eigenlijk. So the second beer that we tried was the Saxo with slightly sweet and fruity flavors and therefore a decent uh, blonde beer. Next up was the Bio beer, um, a little different as it had a slight spicy flavor to it but still fruity, therefore a very interesting amber beer. Next up is my favorite, the Nostradamus, uh, a dark, sweet and malty beer uh, and a very good one during somewhat colder weather. Our last taster was the Fameuse, which was a bit strange as it was very smoky and hoppy flavored, but still a good, decent, blonde beer. So there we have all the beer, we hope you enjoyed it, if you did please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>